Now in this part of the question, we're given that R acts in the direction I minus 2J and asked to find the angle then between R and the vector J. Well first of all, what I'd want to do is just quickly sketch on my directions for I and J. So these are unit vectors, so I'm going to say that I acts as one unit in that direction and J is a unit vector in that direction. So if I've got the vector i minus 2j, then what I'm going to do is say start here, and I've got to imagine going one unit to the right and two units down. So in other words, the vector r acts in this direction, say, where, let's just mark this on, where if I go across here, that is one unit and if I go downwards that is two units. Let's just mark those in as one that way and two units that way. So if I'm to find the angle between the direction that R goes and the vector J, what I'm looking for is that J goes essentially in the upward direction and I'm being asked to find this angle round here. So how do I find that angle? Well, there's several ways. What I could do is find this angle in here, for instance, and add it to 90 degrees. Or I could find, say, this angle in here and take it away from 180 degrees. I'm going to go for this angle here, all right? But it's up to you which one you do. I'm going to call it theta. Now, the angle theta appears over here. There alternate angles. So if I'm doing that, I can get angle theta quite easily through just using trigonometry by saying that the tan of theta, which normally would equal the opposite side over the adjacent, would be in this case 1 over 2. Tan theta equals a half then, or 0 0.5. So to get theta, I just need to take the inverse tan of both sides and we get inverse tan of 0 0.5. Do that on a calculator and assuming you're in degrees mode, you'll get 26.565 and so on degrees. So therefore, we're in a position now to say that the angle that R makes with J I just mark that in there, equals, well it's going to be essentially 180 degrees minus theta. So we just put 180 degrees minus 26.565 odd degrees. And if you do that subtraction, what you're going to get is 153.434 and so on degrees. And if we give that, say, to a suitable degree of accuracy, let's say three significant figures, then that's going to be 153 degrees, and we'll better mark in three significant figures. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the first part of this question.